Come back here, you thief! Come back here, I say! I didn't hear! Honest! It wasn't me! It wasn't me! Oh, I'm coming to you! Just you hold on to him till I get I didn't hear days! It wasn't me! Sir Wilson! Sir Wilson! Please believe me! I'm no guilty! Honest lads! It wasn't me! I really didn't need age. That's honest. It wasn't me. I'll give you my solemn word. I'll swear in the Holy Bible I'm no guilty. Aha, uh -huh, Kenny didn't mean it, eh? You're only making sport. <laughs> we were just making sure the rope fits before the trial. Trial? You mean I'm... Think yourself lucky, Ertie Armstrong. If it was left to me, I'd waste name air time. Oh, so it's no you that's going to judge me? It is not. But didn't you let that raise your hopes? Nope. You are about to face a man that hates sheep stealers even worse than me. You are about to appear before uh, the king. King Jamie? But the very man. The very man. This him. This is him. A sheep stealer. I will uh, no just exactly, Your Majesty. A stealer of sheep. When did this take place? Last night. How many? Just the yin. Yin? He's been at them off and off afore. You stole yin sheep. Aye, just the yin, Your Majesty. <laughs> Your ancestors used to steal Sir William's sheep by the hundreds. Your Majesty. And, oh, aye, 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 they were hanging for it, and rightly so. At least you could hear some respect for a man that did the thing properly. Well, have you end to say in your defence? I didn't do it. Bring in the proof. Proof? Proof, man, proof. Evidence, the details of your case against them. Oh, I can't find we shouldn't have wasted time on a trial. The days of you and your kind making your own laws are finished, Sir William. It is me that sits in judgment now. Your Majesty, uh, that man has been stealing my sheep for years. Uh, it's no me that says that. It's him. That's the absolute truth, Your Majesty, for I've heard it myself. He just waits until he's sure we've got any proof. Then he goes about the country boasting what he's done. He's just turned Sir William there into a perfect fool. And uh, <clears throat> what have you got to say to that? I'll say only this, Your Majesty. If you and a Sir William's sheep was stole last night, it was not stole by Ertie Armstrong. Furthermore, to... furthermore, I'm willing to swear to that fact. I'm a solemn and binding ace. You swear an ace? To do everything. Who's your gab? Your Majesty, Ertie Armstrong is a known and proven liar. When did Ertie Armstrong ever break his solemn ace? At the last full moon when you stole another of my sheep. Your Majesty, I'll no deny that when I'm telling a story, I'll maybe stretch the truth a wee bitty. I swear that. I mean, it's common enough, eh? Aye, aye. Ah, you'll have done the same yourself when he's a dim. <laughs> but, Your Majesty, when Archie Armstrong gives his ears in the good book, then it's the truth. And you can safely put your life on it. He broke his word to me last month. Oh. Your Majesty, if I can prove I didn't break my word to the laird last month, 
Well, you talk my word, I didn't steal you any sheep last night. Aye. Aye, that would seem fair justice. He'd never proven a thousand years. He's not got quite as long as that. Your time runs out with a sawing. Your Majesty, my lord, and others. The story of Archie Armstrong's eighth. It all took place just exactly a month ago, when the nicht was a full moon. All Betty took to his heels like a frighted rabbit. As usual. There was nought to do but select the best beast, take care for him, then. Wait! Maybe he can explain how he comes to ken about all this. Aye, that's a good question. How do you come to ken about all this? That's easy, Your Majesty. It's in the ballad, and everybody's singing it. Continue. As I said, there was no today but select the best beast. Take care for him, then. My lord! My lord! My lord! Sir Wilgum! Sir Wilgum! It's him, Jermstrom! He's off the sheep again! My lord! My lord! What is he? He's off the sheep. I can not have a war. Will he? Oh, never mean explain. Just lead on, man. Lead oh. on. Oh. Move yourself. That way. Right. Well, you come to me. And quietly now. Now you admit, 
that this man actually did steal a sheep. I do. And this man's name was H. Armstrong. It was. Exactly the same name as yourself. Just exactly. Aye. Your time is running out. Well, maybe we'd better hear the end of this ballad of Archie Armstrong. As Archie passed the brook at lies, he cursed the blinking moon. For shouts were heard upon the breeze, the other hills are ruined. His load was heavy, and the way was rough and ill to fend. But ere he reached the stubborn bray, his face were left behind. He clammed the bray, and Frey's brow the traps fell fast and free. But when he heard aloud, Hello! A wafer man was he. Aye, <sighs> uh, at that moment, Archie was indeed a wafer man. Take it he'd get rid of the uh, evidence by this time. The sheep? Aye. No. He didn't take it direct to him. He did. And it was stolen. It was. You're no forgetting that you're in trial here. For your life. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a wee thing quicker, eh? Mm-hmm. Last, Hertie was out of the woods and within sixties in whose hour his left shoulder towards the muir, an anxious easy cast. And when he stepped out of the door, his wife, she looked aghast. Oh, wait for Hertie, would you slight? Elk word a timely warning. I trow ye will be ten this night and hang it in the morning. Now hold your tongue, your pretty wife, and help me as ye do. I would be loath to lose my life for ye, poor silly yow. Archie Armstrong, you will be hanged, and just exactly for getting paid, silly you. That's a good enough beast. But what possessed you to bring it here? Well, it would have funny if I'd drop it. Then for it here, I'd go. Here now. I just wished, and we'll win through yet. Now, where's the bairn's clays? You can't find the bairn's no here. Aye, but it's clays. I've waited years for this moment. Let's not spoil the thing by rushing at it. Oh, oh, oh I've got him now, Sir William. This is where Archie Armstrong bites. I'm firmly convinced we have got him this time. Aye. Good man, Pacey. Good oh. man. Oh. Right, lads. Softly, softly, softly. The cradle stands by the ingle tomb, the bairn wi' auntie stays. They clapped the carcass in its room and smoored it with the clays. <gasps> and doon sat Erchie, daintily, and rockied it wi' his hand. Sick a rough nourish as he was not in all the lawn. And softly, he began to croon. Uh, uh, he hadn't sung to sick a tune, I trow, for many a year. No fray the hills, the common haste, are running out of breath. Ah, Archie, we he go chief fast. And ye mun die the death. After you've thinned your master's heads, and elsewhere laid the blame, 
Now you can spare your wily words, cos we have traced you. Him. Your sheep for worlds, I didn't talk. Deal him if I'm lean. But hold your tongue for mercy's sake. The beam's just at the dean. <laughs> I'm sorry, mistress. I didn't ken your bairn was ill. If the pair creatures know already did. Was it something that come on very sudden? Oh, man, you could, you could just say it was like a, like a bolt for the blue. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry about your bairn, but we have business here. Sir's the buyer. Your man will find nothing, sir, will you? Pity here swears that it was you he saw at my sheep. We followed a man with a sheep on his shoulders. And that man come down to this glen. And there's no another who's for miles. What have you to say to that? If here I did say force a feet, as thin my neighbor's falls, may I be doomed the flesh to eat. That vera cradle holds. To be deceived, eat. I'll give you my solemn oath in the Bible. If ever I stole any of your sheep, I swear I will eat that bare creature in the cradle. <laughs> they sought to find the stolen gear, they searched both butt and bend, but always clean and always clear, and nothing could they can. And what to think they could not tell. They glowered at you and another. Pity. It must have been the deal himself that you saw running hither. Or even Marky Peru. The witch. <laughs> and if she didn't break his ace, he ate the cradle sheep. <laughs> I throw he was never very sick of out again. <laughs> Outside with a thieving dog and hang him! You're rich! King oh, David, you're rich! Please! No, no, no that'll not do! <laughs> Mr. William, that'll not do! That's enough! Enough! He admits he stole my sheep! Why should he no hang for it? Because he never broke his word! Now just let him go! <laughs> now, it was agreed! If he could prove to us that he didn't break his oath to you last month, we would accept his word he didn't steal your sheep last night. I, Archie Armstrong, gave him a solemn ace. I didn't steal you another laird's sheep last night. If you remain in Sir William's land, you'll no always be so lucky. Now, would you like to come back to the palace with me? Who? A king we always cares. Sometimes I see of a fool. Especially when that fool is as wise as Archie Armstrong. Archie! Now! <laughs> 